Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you a video basically describing what I think people should do with the players considering Team of the Year has now finished and the January upgrades are about to drop, well, probably mid-February. So, if we take a look at someone like Team of the Year Pogba, who I do have here, I bought him for just over 1.6 million. Now, if you look at his price now, it has dropped slightly and there's a reason for that. You can see 1.5 million there. Um, I think there might be one slightly lower here. Couple that are lower. Now the reason for that is, well, there's a good team of the week, so a lot of people will be panic listing these, you know, trying to get the new team of the week uh, that has Rooney, Aguero, Suarez, etc. But there's also another reason. People generally have been investing these, and it's impatient people that are just wanting to get the coins back. They're like, oh shit, they see him drop by 10, 20k, and then they list, and then someone else sees it, and they list, and it gets gradually lower. This will eventually turn around, and the team of the years will go back up, and they'll probably go higher for what I've bought them for. Let's have a look at Marcelo. I bought him for 365k. What price is he now? Is he cheaper? Yeah, he, you can see there already. Three, uh, four, five. That one isn't getting bought. He's probably somewhere around 320 that mark roughly. Um, so he he has went down, but it's literally because people are panic. Uh, well, they, they've invested, but they're not patient enough to wait for when the players do rise. And now they've dipped even more. So if you do want to buy Team of the Years, now is the time to buy. But if you do uh, want to sell them, I would wait, personally. Unless you really need the coins, then of course. Or you want to invest them in other things. Like, I'm considering selling Pogba soon. Not for the fact that, um, you know, he's dropped in price. It's because I'm considering investing in other players. And that's something I'm going to come to now. So we'll have a look at Martial in form here. I bought him for 30k a while ago, but then um, I sold him for God knows what reason. Bought him back uh, for 43, and I think he's still on the rise. All right, he's roughly, well, probably around 45, 46k. Now, I would suggest you get this player. It's a second in form, uh, brilliant stats, but also he's probably nailed on to get a January upgrade, which means this in form will get higher rated. That's another reason why I've got someone like Godin. He's already had three in form, so the chances are he'll get another upgrade. This one will go to 1991, maybe even 92, and uh, it'll go for a bit more. Now, it was 99k in the first place anyway, so that is just crazy for the price. Like, yeah, he's already rose quite a lot, actually, drastically. Um, is he actually 150? No, all right. He's probably around 120, 125, but still, I've made a bit of profit on him. Other players that I'm considering buying are players like um, Second Inform Koscielny. We'll have a look at him quickly. Um, and other players like you could get Morris's uh, card. Don't get his silver one though because that won't get upgraded even if he gets a January upgrade because that's the way EA do it. Uh, Koscielny, he's a player that will probably get an upgrade to an eight, this uh, particular Inform to an 86 or an 87. So personally... I would suggest buying cards now that you think are going to get upgrades and then I would sell them probably just before they actually get their upgrade because like like team of the year the market crash tends to happen um, just before the anticipation uh, sorry in the anticipation of the market crash that becomes the actual market crash just before people think it will happen and that's when the market goes a bit crazy it's really hard to predict and explain as well but in general as I say what I would do now is buy your players, literally the players you want to invest in or your team of the year players that you want to play with, etc. Get them bought now and I wouldn't sell anything yet unless you really need to. I would wait until January upgrades come out and then sell your you know, cards that you've held for getting an upgrade. Your team of the years, if possible, I would probably wait until after the January upgrades because they will eventually rise to a lot more than what they are. Like, Pogba will probably rise to just under 2 million, I think. I mean, every stat is under, sorry, is over 80. He's terrific. He can't get a higher card. This will be his highest card on FIFA. So, it will eventually rise. It just takes time because, as I say, people panic this. So, let me know what you think. Do you think I'm wrong with this? I mean, I'm, I'm not certain about this. This is just my opinion. But it's based on things that have happened in previous FIFAs and also just logic, really. It's based off logic. So hopefully you do make a lot of coins. In terms of normal cards, um, now is probably a good time to buy them anyway. Uh, and then maybe invest because they're still slightly going up. They're on the rise. 
But uh, if you're investing normal cards that are, you think are going to get upgraded, that doesn't work because EA release another card. So for example, Martial has a 77 rated normal card. That will stay 77. They'll release another card, which will be 79, 80 or whatever it is. And then all of his informs will rise by the same amount that, uh, you know, the difference is. So if he had an 80 rated card, that's three difference from his original. So that inform that I've got now would go to an 83, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Comment down below if you're confused or anything. I'll try and get back to you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like